So North Dakota wearing the all white jerseys. They come from Grand Forks, North Dakota, and they will kick off here right to left. A little punch, short kick, fielded up at the 15 yard line. And right away, excellent field position, although a turf tackle by <laughs> the Washington Turf takes down Gaskin. And Washington right away goes to the quick throw. And they get the ball. Well, that was a story this week. Savon Ahmed didn't touch it as often last week, I think, as probably people in Washington would like. And Gaskin, who last week became the all-time leading Huskies rusher, surpassed Napoleon Kaufman's record, and Gaskin gets only three, but that's enough for a first. Browning takes the deep shot for Bocelli, but he didn't get outside to the numbers. Pressure there by Steve Greer. And the cover by Deion Harris, who's the best cover man for North Dakota. Yeah, Deion Harris, he's got Sunday potential coming back off of a tough injury, an Achilles injury. Well, Harris comes in there up the corner on the run blitz and just smothers Miles Gaskin. And now putting Washington into a long third. Gaskin leaks out, Browning standing in, stepping up, sidestepping. Extends the play, now has to run it and can't get enough. You saw Browning try to go laterally there to extend the play, but eventually tucked the ball. Race Porter will do the punting for the Huskies to start today. They have three different running backs North Dakota uses. And that's the first one. That's their best one. John Santiago, Nate Ketteringham. Second start as the North Dakota quarterback from San Diego. Got outside to avoid the rush, but then Ben Burr Kirvin all over the underneath dump off receiver. That's Travis Toivonen on the catch. Santiago going to leak out of the backfield. Ketteringham looked at him, can't get it. Ball knocked free. In the scramble, Burr Kirvin had a shot, doesn't get it, but the Huskies do come out. So a sack stripped the ball. Ariel Nagata, red shirt linebacker, with some promise, the man who eventually knocks the ball here. And this is his effort, just follow him. Here comes 52. And Nagata and just comes it. right back yep. in. Aaron Fuller slot to the right play, doesn't get off cleanly. Bad start by the Huskies. Ball start. Number 70, offense. Five yards, still first down. Now first and 15. Pistol run to Gaskin. Good. Solid tackle there. Noah Larson in the middle of the North Dakota defense. So empty. Browning looks quick. Gets it to Drew Sample. Tight end. Wrapped up shy of the 20, though. And Washington's still going to have a fairly long third down they're facing. Aaron Fuller has got Dion. Harris against him, the best cover man from North Dakota to the top. That's where Browning's going. And Fuller with the catch got inside Harris. And Washington has first and goal. Gaskin. And he gets a couple to the five, perhaps just inside. And now using a fullback in here to lead the way for Gaskin. But North Dakota stops it. Boy, good push there. So two receivers stack, Fuller and Ty Jones to the bottom. Ahmed, the running back, Browning buys time to the back of the end zone and waited perfectly and delivers for the touchdown. So a great job of waiting for Ty Jones to move right to left along the back line of the end zone. And that's Ty Jones right there, Ted. He's just going to keep working. The play will break down, but this is a sophomore. Watch him just keep working. They work this scramble drill twice a day in practice on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. That's beautiful. Henry now with the kick. This is into the field of play in short. Santiago comes up, and he'll get it right to the 25, perhaps just across. Quick throw out here to the near side and an open man. So good North Dakota gain on first down to Garrett Mogg, who's a freshman. Ketterian pulls the ball back and his throw is caught underneath. That's Noah Wanzik. 
A little underneath cross to Travis Toivonen, but wrapped up well. Good tackle right at the spot of the catch by Tevis Bartlett. On third down, keeps Santiago in to block, and that ball's broken up. Nice dive in front by Miles Bryant. You know, Miles Bryant, you know, when the coaches talk about him, they talk about his instincts. You'll see him on the left side of your screen. He'll just feel this read. It's real easy. Kettering doesn't give it away or doesn't try to look off any of the DBs. And Bryant playing that hybrid nickel position, Ted. He's a corner. He's a safety. He can play on the slot. Really talented defensive back. That replay showed you something. Washington rushed four, and North Dakota still kept their running back in <laughs> to help pass protect. Kate Peterson punts it away. Fuller lets it go, and it flies to the end zone for the Washington touchback. As Browning fires quickly and on the outside pounds with the catch for Washington immediately wrapped up by Evan Holm. So on second down, Browning hands it off. Running play is going to get bottled up. Browning stepped nicely to his left to buy himself time. Beautifully done. Browning to pounds inside the North Dakota 20. Watch Jake Browning here. Watch him just avoid subtly. He's been doing this for four years. Ted makes it look easy. 57-yard play now going to the end zone, but Harris and the receiver pounds are connected at the five-yard line. So second down now out of the pistol. And the play is stopped. Two tight ends set for Washington. Ball start. 26 off it. Five-yard penalty. Repeat the down. So Gaskin goes to the top, empty backfield. Clean rush coming. And there's the Browning movement again. So North Dakota tried to take advantage of the empty backfield. They brought a free runner in, and Browning with those little sidesteps bought time to find Bocelli. Now third down. Here comes another runner, and that ball is almost picked. So North Dakota nearly had the red zone interception there. Tyron Vreedy had that ball in his hands. And it felt like right at the last second, you see Jake Brown, has a great shot of him. It's almost like he tried to grab it back. So Tyron Frieda almost had that pick, and now a 29-yard try by Peyton Henry. And Henry puts that through. Kick three last week in Atlanta. All right, John Santiago deep here for North Dakota. And Santiago up to the right side. Boy, got a little crease. Spins off another hit. John Santiago. We've heard a lot. We talked to the North Dakota coaches this week, and they are obviously raving about this guy. And Santiago finally uh, got through a couple of guys, and he finally got banged there by Elijah Molden. Fake a little motion sweep there, but... But now third down, North Dakota needs six. Extra rushers coming, and it produces the sack. Taylor Rapp eventually gets in, along with Ben Burkirvin. That's a great job of the backs. You'll see the linebackers, Burkirvin, Bartlett, right at the line of scrimmage. It forces the offensive line to say, who do we got to stop? And then boom, all of a sudden, Taylor Rapp gets picked up by Santiago, and who keeps working? Ben Burkirvin all the way around from one side. Flag down here on the fair catch. They're in the kick. Holding. Number 23, the return team. 10 yard penalty. There First down, a, Washington. Punt team foul there by Washington will back the Huskies up. Ahmed on the carry, bottled up. Browning saw a rush coming, still stood in and delivers it to Fuller, and North Dakota does not finish the tackle, and Fuller pushes the ball out near midfield. Off the play action, Browning. The wheel down the far side to Ahmed, and he's a first down inside the North Dakota 45. So for Chris Peterson, the first quarter, that's about what you want.
Huskies moving it again as we start the second. And a flip on a reverse, but Shelly going to throw the ball. And he throws it to Fuller. Look out here to McGrew getting some time. Yep, one of the younger Husky backs, Sean McGrew, takes it down to the 20. And quick hitter to the middle. All right, big package in here. Three tight ends for Washington. Fuller comes in close to the line. And this is where North Dakota's been impressive early. And I'm sure Washington's not happy with this. So fourth down. And Browning will keep it. And it's going to be close. This is going to be a mark here that is going to determine this. And I'm not sure the first mark. North Dakota agrees with what I'm seeing. I think he's short. Watch Jake Browning's feet here on the fourth down sneak. At quarterback, you want to come sometimes delay a hair, see what's happening, let the picture unfold, and then keep going. And you got to just keep your feet moving. Great job by that defense, just grabbing the feet. And again, nice job by Mason Bennett, not allowing Jake Browning to do it. And North Dakota back on the field, running a toss, and that's their second running back. That's James Johannesson out of Fargo. Second down, Santiago back there to help protect. And then Ketteringham backed up, escaped to the side, and then fired to the sideline. Four rush, but then North Dakota crosses up with a little late handoff, and that's John Santiago running for a first down. So first down for North Dakota. And another gap in the middle for Santiago, and he runs that out. Gets about seven on first down. Well, North Dakota showed a little something here early second quarter, and there is Santiago. And again, you talk about a lot of pack and a smaller package. He put his shoulder into Ben Burkirvan there and drove forward. Santiago did to get the first down. Graham DeVore and James Johannesson, the backs here behind Ketteringham. And that's a misfire on an out route there. It's headed for Toyvan in. Jordan Miller on the cover. A good play there. Santiago tried to get outside. That's Jake Wamba that did a nice job on the run tackle for Washington. So now the Husky crowd trying to get its defense fired up for this stop on third and seven. Three receiver bunch. Here comes a big middle pressure, and that's going to be short of a first down. A lunge by Luke Fiedler, the tight end, tried to get that ball to the line to game, but he is a yard and a half short. Well, it's exactly what you're taught as a quarterback. When there's blitz, when there's pressure, you throw it right there and try to replace the pressure with a player. They do that with yep. Fiedler. During the timeout, Bubba Schweiger, North Dakota, decide to punt the ball. Peterson gets it away. Aaron Fuller, late signal there, but takes the fair catch inside the 15. Jake Browning, long throw, and Quinton pounds with another terrific grab, making an early season statement. Throw it deep. Taking shots, Quinton pounds. He's worked so hard to get back, and that's just how fast than you throw it up. Perfect location, goes up and gets the ball, tucks it away from pressure. And if you're a Husky fan, there's an optimistic sign this first game and a half. Nice patience there by Browning. Comes back over the middle to Drew Sample. And now first down at the North Dakota 34. Gaskin. And Gaskin, there's a flag. During the run, holding. 41 offense. It's a 10-yard penalty. Repeat the down. All right, quick throw here to Ahmed, just getting him outside. UW already has eight pass plays of 10 plus yards today. But right, he has a man. Race to the goal line. McClatcher just short. Trying to welcome Chico McClatcher back. And it's his second catch of the year.
Well, that's Drew Sample. We talked about it in the open, him at the tight end. It's the rub route concept. Great job, beautiful job by him. Allowing the receiver to, walk, to rub the defensive back. So now, after an injured player from the two-yard line, Gaskin can't get in. Two tight ends and a fullback. But now Browning will throw it, and it's broken up. Bynum, the intended receiver in the end zone, that's Deion Harris. Going to toss it to Gaskin. Can he get the corner? He will walk in. So they use the wide side of the field. Throw the Huskies to their advantage and an easy score for Miles Gaskin. Well, struggled running inside, so they say, hey, let's give it to number nine, the all-time leading rusher on the pitch. Lead of blockers, Kate Otten, Justice Warren and company, and that was a walk. Kickoffs coming back from the goal line by Santiago. And another good run back. He gets it out to the 25 and just across. Underneath and now breaking tackles. Well, that one is not going to make film session very much fun for Washington. That's about four missed tackles, and Santiago turns it into a big play. First down. I love 17 it. yards. I love in games like this, Ted, guys like John Santiago, you just sense his effort, right? I mean, he's doing everything, every single inch that he can gain, he can fight, he can claw, and, you know, that's him. Santiago gets the sideline. Ketteringham swings it out, and there's Johannes, and that's a very nice tackle by Byron Murphy. Johannes stays in as the back. North Dakota needs four. Again, Washington shows the middle blitz, pulls it back, and then Ketteringham, he dives head first, so he should get a little bit of a better mark, but it's still going to be short. Previous play is under replay review yep. regarding progress. So the knee is down well short, but where's the ball when the knee hits? After review, the runner's progress was short of the line to gain. It'll be fourth down and one at the 49-yard line. Clock will start on my signal. Toss it. And Johannesson bangs, and he didn't get there. Well, I should pause there because there is an extra effort at the end, and there will be a mark again. He was hit a yard short. And this looks like a stop on downs, and it is. The mark is short. So each and team that, has stopped the other on a fourth down run. And that is Kyler Mono. You see him number 30 in the middle of the screen. He and Greg Gaines, the first two there. Are we surprised? Are we surprised that number 99 is making another play down the line of scrimmage? What a brilliant job with his hands. Browning again pressure coming and he delivers for pounds and it's broken up at the last well done by Harris out here to fuller good tackle there so no escape leaves the Huskies third and 13 Jones alone to the bottom Browning to the middle Browning has his man that is sample and that's going to be very close there is a flag at in the pocket. Personal foul, Chopper. Number 51 and number nine, offense. 15 yard penalty, replay the down. Well, Browning has a lot of room, but he can't get a first down. He had the right side of the field open, but nowhere near the room to get to the line again. So it'll be a putt for Washington. With Porter into punt again, and what they've done the one other time they punted today was uh, hit low line drives and trust their speed men to cover like this and prevent a return. And let's see, they're going to get this ball inside the foul. Oh, he didn't get it. Let's see what the ruling is. There's a beanbag down, and I believe the ruling is going to be that he touched the ball inside the five. Well, they struggled a week ago in punt coverage, and Joyner's right there. Looks like he's got it, and that's why it's not a round ball, Ted. 
So North Dakota just under three minutes to go in the half. And pressure middle. Ketteringham skips away and then just launches. Five across the front for Washington. Taylor Rapp comes on a middle blitz untouched. Nice job by Ketteringham, but he can't get out. Yeah, they made Taylor Rapp miss, but Ben Burkirvin was there to follow. Watch Taylor Rapp, the anticipation towards the line of scrimmage. This is exactly how you teach it. On the snap, look at the burst. Great avoidance by Ketteringham, and then look at seven pop back right up. That's brilliant. Fuller catches that ball on the North Dakota side of the 50. And Browning throws. Well, he tried to throw that back shoulder to the sideline to Ty Jones. And there's a catch for Sample. Drew Sample's going to get that ball just inside the 40, leaving a short third down. Again, another rub route tight end. They have a lot of success. They're about 100% on the season on this concept. And here we are on two-minute drill where Jake Browning can be at his best. Browning buys the time. Oh, and that's picked. He threw that ball behind Sample, and it's intercepted by Hayden Galvin. Well, Jake Browning, you'll see him get flushed out of the pocket. This is where he thrives. He's a scrambling type quarterback. Sees his tight end. It's the right read. Just misses him, Ted. Just throws it behind him. Really impressive job making the play for North Dakota. So now it's North Dakota with a chance as the Huskies lost a good opportunity. Two timeouts for North Dakota. Ketteringham leaking. And then that is going to be a catch and a first down across midfield by Noah Wanzek. It looked like the Huskies were going to add to the lead. Instead, it's North Dakota with 55 seconds. And that one by Travis Toivonen is a short game. And North Dakota will use a timeout that was in the field of play. Jake Browning is throwing 24 passes. But right now, it's Nate Ketteringham and North Dakota back to work. And Toivonen is stapled right at the spot by Byron Murphy. And North Dakota has to use another timeout, their last that only got a couple of yards. Three receiver cluster. And Ketteringham underneath to the sideline. And that is right at the line again. Looks like a first down lunge there at the last. It is by Toivonen. Santiago. And now North Dakota is getting themselves. And there's the... Uh, the push, the big offensive lineman helping push for another first down, and that's huge because it stops the clock. They got the game clock correct here on second down. Ketteringham just again has to launch it. He was not going to get to the outside. Molden was there. They can't stop the clock. Well, this will stop the clock no matter what. Out of bounds. So it is fourth down. And North Dakota comes up empty. Nine seconds to go here. One snap for Washington, and Gaskin rips one. Well, he finally gets a run, but the half will run out before he's brought down. So he gets a big run, a 24-yarder by far. Best run play of the half for Washington. A little bit of the purple haze still hovering over Husky Stadium as Santiago is taken down. A very good kick cover there by Austin Joyner. And Santiago gets outside, does a nice job again. He got past a little low tackle by Murphy there. Finally, Benning Potaayi. And Ketteringham just a little flip straight ahead to Alex Cloyd. 
third down play here doesn't get it. Well, let's see. He may have gotten a little bit better marked at Santiago. And now they snap it deep. Peterson hangs one very short and running up is Fuller. Just shy of midfield. Browning with the keep. Browning. Buying time using the wide side. Comes back. Oh, and he threw it against his body, and it would have been a first down. But Jones could not hang on. All right, there's the line drive punt again by Porter. This one gives a nice big hop, though, and so Santiago is able to field it. And even though he doesn't go far, at least it prevents the ball from being downed close to the goal line. Big plays today. North Dakota backed up inside their 15. Ketteringham all the way back in his end zone, and that's been the play that we've seen him employ quite a bit, both last week in their opener and today. Was he? And that is the first appearance by Brady Oliveira. Brady Oliveira is the third back that North Dakota uses. And, well, there's that ball. Let's see what they rule on that. Is that an incomplete pass? Apparently, Ketteringham ruled to be in the pocket. He just slammed that one down. Ruling on the field is an incomplete forward Benning pass. Benning Potaii was pushing was back, area. but that was an interesting. I'm not sure I see this one. Yeah, that, that was weird. You'll Help see me, Yogi. Potaii right there. He's going to rush, get picked up by the right tackle. And it looks like they're potentially setting up a screen. Yeah. Uh, but it looked to me from Ketteringham's perspective, it was just frustration. He just kind of slammed the ball into the ground. Well, that, that had the look of the, he gave up on the play. Yeah. That it wasn't whatever was supposed to be there, one there, and he gave up on it. Warren Taylor doing the punting here. Oh, great cover by Fullers. Gaskin trying to pick his way off the right side. And So a run for Gaskin, a swing to Gaskin. On the run, Miles Gaskin passed Darren Nelson. So what do the Huskies do on third? They will ask Browning to throw it. He comes in, ooh, cross and threw it behind Aaron Fuller. So he had to turn his body, upper body, Browning to throw that ball. But if he hit Fuller, that would have been a first down. Santiago deep. And there's another line drive skipping punt. And that's the danger of trying to field that ball, the danger of the, of the bad hop and the potential muff, but Santiago covers it at the 10. Oh, and Ketteringham stood in there. He had Bryant bearing down right on him, and he knew he was going to take one. Misfires on the throw. So three receivers to the bottom. Clustered, but they run out of it, and Santiago gets the first down and a lot more. Foot race. Look at Burke Hervin chasing, but it's eventually Byron Murphy that saves the touchdown. John Santiago, 69 yards. Incredible vision. Blitz by UW. It's picked up, and Santiago just runs right past him. Missed tackle from Taylor Rapp, and then it's a track race. Oliveira now, Santiago gets a breather. Oliveira is able to drive. Ben Curvin wrestles him down, but a good hard three yard run. Back now, takes the handoff, runs middle, and look at Santiago driving. It'll be first and goal for North Dakota. And any measure of complacency that may have settled into Husky Stadium has now been jolted. Look at the offensive line. Double team Greg Gaines. And they're just doing a nice job of getting to the second level. Getting in the way of the linebacks. Remember, DJ Beaver out. Two tight ends. And Burr Curvin hits Santiago. And he's still able to drive. And again, that's where Santiago has been impressive. He got hit at the five, but he lands at the three. Everybody in tight.
Can Ketteringham find a receiver? Nope. Threw one into the lower boxes. To the back corner, broken up by Murphy. Tried to hit Noah Wanzek, but Byron Murphy plays that very well, and North Dakota now will, I'm sure with some degree of regret, they're gonna take the points. An old school concept that's called levels. The two outside receivers run five yard in routes, creating different levels for the quarterback, and the inside receiver runs a corner. Perfect job, perfect job. Byron Murphy playing the ball with his left hand. So Brady Leach will attempt this 20-yarder from the right hash. Certainly disappointing from the standpoint you had a 69-yard run if you're North Dakota, you first and goal inside the five. Been, been the story of this ball game inside the red zone. Neither team really executed. Short kick here to the 20-yard line, and Ahmed. Oh, Ahmed! The big play capability. So North Dakota kicked it short, and Savan Ahmed made the pay. His ability to stop and start. I mean, that's the thing. You see a lot of talented athletes, but it's slow down. Eh, eh, see ya. <laughs> yeah. oh, does it again. Eh, eh. See it. I mean, he does it even again, third time. I mean, that, look at that. One more. Eh, let me go once more. That's the elite speed. You know, those within five and ten yards, that type of burst, that, that's special. That's difference maker stuff that we'll see throughout the rest of number 26 career. All right, Browning throwing that along the right hash mark, incomplete. Shan or blue ball, rather, diving in front of the Huskies receiver. All right, second down. Fuller, nice cut inside. Boy, Fuller took a lateral throw there and turned that into an eight-yard gain. McClatcher to the side. First down and more. And this is a guy we – Bush Hamden, I thought, said something very interesting with us yesterday, the OC, and he said this is a guy you were looking to get his confidence back in his speed because he is a game-breaker. And plays like this are exactly what we do it. And what you're seeing now from Bush Hamden is saying, you know what? We know our athletes are better than their athletes. Let's get the ball to our guys in space. Yep. Once again, McClatcher. And he's inside the 20 down. Going to be marked out inside the 15. And this tight end group, again, this is Drew Sample. He didn't catch it, but you're going to see him right there run through the middle. The rub route again. It's a really nice job by tight end Drew Sample. 16 yards on that pass play. Now it is Gaskin running hard, takes it down to the seven. Second down, they can get a first at the four. Gaskin bouncing. Gaskin stripped up just before he would have made it. Ty Shannon had the heel clip tackle. Fair catch here on the kickoff by Santiago, which will bring the ball out to the 25. We'll cross underneath, and that play going to run to the sideline and not get very much. Well pursued. That was Izzy Adioti. First time we've seen him today, sophomore. Make the toss inside. That is a first down catch and then a fumble. 
And the ball's loose on the field, and it's recovered by Washington. The previous play is under replay review regarding possession. So the question that continues to, um, I think, not, not a, I think it puzzles fans. I think it puzzles us. Yeah. You know, it's tough because do you have control and do you make f a football action? When you slow it down frame by frame is where you, I think it can get gray. You know, real time it looked for sure that way. But I thought that his left foot was down after the catch. After review, the receiver never pulled the ball completely in. The ruling is changed to an incomplete forward pass. The ball will be returned to the previous spot, fourth and two. Warren Taylor to do the punting here. Senior for North Dakota. That one off the side of his foot. All right, here's Browning on first down to Fuller over the middle. And that will be a first down just shy of midfield. Oh, there's a throw that was close to being a pick six. And this for Jake Browning just gets away from him. It's an out route. They drive all over it. But Shelly does a nice job there to save that from being a pick six. Yeah, and Blue is just sitting on just yeah. squatting on that out route. All right, let's see if North Dakota can cash in here. Ooh, nice run pressure there on Santiago. Santiago trying to get it back. Does and a couple of more, but that will leave a longer third for North Dakota. And a roll Ketteringham on third down, and Toivonen got banged by Murphy, did not hang on. And you realize how important it is for an offense like North Dakota in this game to stay as the football people say on schedule. The first down loss in the run took them out of that. And they can't capitalize on the interception. Punt is fair caught by Fuller here in the closing seconds of the third quarter. Browning good pump fake with the defender in his face and turns that into a gain close to 10 at the end of the third quarter. So to the fourth we go. In Washington, Ted Robinson, Yogi Roth, Jill Savage, our Pac-12 Network team. Led by our producer Michael Molinari and our director Scott Barkey. Savan Ahmed on the carry. Been a stalwart as Ahmed is this time strung out trying to go left and can't turn the corner. Ahmed, good job to get outside. It gets a Washington first. And now Ahmed with the breakaway hit. One man to make, miss, doesn't do it. Good saving tackle for North Dakota by Jordan Kennedy. McGrew gets the carry here, and he has a big lane outside the hash marks, and McGrew takes it home. Touchdown, Washington. In the fourth quarter, the Huskies finally come to life on the ground. Sean McGrew stands at 5'7", but lowers the shoulder. Carries two defenders for seven yards, Ted. Seven yards. Santiago runs it back across the 25. Ketteringham comes out in the near side, misfires to Wanzek. Santiago running hard, but will not get to the line to gain, out to the 32.
catch. So here we go now with Washington underway, and they've gone to Jake Hayner as the backup quarterback gets in the game, and that gets a big roar from the crowd as he delivers a strike to Ty Jones. Nice stop there by Steve Greer on defense for North Dakota. And a long throw to Jones. Right there! How about that? First down inside the 20. How about that throw? Hayner put that one right in the bucket. And a nice little spin to the inside by Bocelli. Gets it down to the 12. Got to throw one up for Jones again. And Jones, well, there's a flag and a ball and a touchdown! First guy to meet him. Look at that, Jake Hayner. Standing in the pocket, Jake Hayner gets hit late, throws it up, again, not to the pylon, a, a yard away from it, and there's his man, Mr. Jones. and getting the toss there, driving it out for a North Dakota first down. Nice play there as Ketteringham was trying to escape. Here's the punt away by North Dakota, and fair catch. As there's Kamari Pleasant getting his first run today, and Pleasant takes it out across the 30-yard line. Defensive play there. Back shoulder throw here by Hayner, and it's pulled in. Hey, another good throw. And is Alex Cook on the catch? And Pleasant spun around and wrapped up. Good penetration there off the defensive front. Nick Honerlaw for North Dakota. Amari Pleasant, and he says, I'm still here too, coach. Touchdown, Washington. Great burst by Pleasant. One cut, then it's a house call. One more cut to get by the secondary in that last level. So Washington doesn't have to snap the ball, but they will. Hayner hands it off. Braxton gets one more carry. And the Huskies put an end to their first win of 20.
18. And for Washington, that is their 17th straight non-conference win here. And for Chris Peterson, starting year five at Washington, that's his 130th win as a coach.